What's up guys, it's Endymion here with a part 3 to my new hero theory idea. If you haven't seen the first two parts, well, they're on the channel and all my theories in this series are a part of a series of ideas all centering around what I would like to see in the upcoming Mass Effect sequel. The basis of this series is that the main character would be of the bounty hunter archetype, piloting a ship full of criminals, treasure hunters, and people of special interest in a galaxy-wide adventure into the darkest corners of the Mass Effect universe. So what else do I want in the next game? Let's continue. So I've talked about gameplay advancements, melee combat, and even spaceship combat, but what about the core of what makes a Mass Effect game? You know, the crewmates. What would be some potential crewmate ideas I would want to see in a sequel? So I'm going to do these from my least interesting, in my opinion, to the most interesting. So let's begin. For starters, I think we need a male Quarian crewmate. As up to this point, we have only had Tally as a potential Quarian crewmate in the entire franchise. Don't get me wrong, Tally is dope as hell, but I think it's time for a change going forward. If our main hero is a badass bounty hunter, I think we need a crewmate that fits the prim and proper sort of archetype. A person who doesn't necessarily like to get their hands dirty, but is extremely smart and crafty. Also a plot point I always found interesting in Mass Effect 3 is that if you manage to save the Corian homeworld of Rannoch and Legion and Tally come to terms with one another, Tally starts talking about terraforming Rannoch to eventually meet the criteria needed to allow Corians to eventually adapt to life outside of their suits. She also says if you manage to get the Geth to help, that the Geth's technology and knowledge will allow Quarians to reach this goal of living outside of their suits in a much quicker state than they could do alone. Imagine running into a male Quarian crewmate in some misty planet full of prisoners, and he's in his suit but manages to break you and himself out, and once you're out of the prison complex, your bounty hunter turns around for a second to check for pursuers and begins calling their ship, only for the male Quarian to release his helmet and throw it to the ground. It would be a big O-S-H-I-T moment for fans. We would get to see how Quarians look under those suits, and I think having a badass, well-spoken, male Quarian thief-like crewmate would be a good idea. Moving on, I think another race I absolutely love that has been wildly and honestly woefully unrepresented is the race called the Drell. We know the Drell from fan favorite Thane Krios and his son Kolyat. The Drell were a standout race in Mass Effect 2, and the many intricate details to their race from being wildly religious, having a massive connection with the Hanar, and having the ability to perfectly remember every kill or moment in their life to the most insane detail made the Drell memorable as memorable can be in my opinion. I also love the audio filter they put on Thane's voice. I don't know why, but the way Thane sounds, that little reverb of bass when he speaks, is just so cool. So leading with that, I would love a female Drell companion in the next game. Someone who's sarcastic, deadly, and holding a lot of emotional baggage in her life. Having her perfectly replicate all the painful memories of her past, and based on what we know about the Drell's past, it's said that the Drell's homeworld was damned to extinction until the Hanar saved not even half a million of the Drells, exploding 11 billion population on their home planet. So this female Drell companion would be interesting if she wasn't a part of those that were saved by the Hanar, but instead a part of the 11 billion left to die in the unending war for resources and food on their home planet. You would have a character who resents the Hanar for damning almost the entirety of her race to extinction and hating the council races for not saving more of her people. She could be a real survivor who was forced to do the worst things imaginable to survive as long as she did. You could even go further and say she had a family once, but the damnation of her species led to catastrophic circumstances that could never be undone. And then she meets our bounty hunter, and we could uncover a political shadow war where higher place individuals on the Citadel didn't save the billions of Drell for a reason, and she plans to find out why. Yeah, I want a female Drell. Moving on. In one of my many theory videos with Mass Effect on my channel, I talk about my love for characters that bring unique spins or perspective to previous enemy races. It's why I love Legion, because he's, you know, a Geth after all. And seeing this sympathetic, almost heroic side to a race way back in the original Mass Effect being shown to be not as bad as we thought, was really interesting. I also love Legion's voice acting too, Shepard Commander, so cool. Anyways, going with this theme of making bad things more relatable, I have 
two ideas for this in a potential sequel. And these two ideas I really like personally. Example one is something I've talked a little bit about before, and that's the idea of a Ket-like companion. And by Ket, I mean a companion whose entire species was exalted and transformed by the Ket, but this particular survivor wasn't fully exalted for some unknown reason. We would have this monstrous, borderline tragic companion who remembers what they were before and resents what they have become now. And their journey could be to push into Ket occupied space and find a way to reverse the exaltation process and maybe find anything that remains of their culture and people. And this character would be ridiculed, demoralized and ostracized by the xenophobic among the galaxy that you meet in the game. Someone who isn't what they are and had no say in the transformation just looking to help others while constantly being beaten, wounded, or shunned by everyone around them. That would be a really cool companion to see. My final companion idea for this video is ambitious and probably my favorite of the bunch. Stay with me here. Okay, I wanna preface this next idea as being really, really, really out there and I know some people might not be okay with it. But let me explain. So we all know Vision from the Marvel movies, right? He's cool, ship of Theseus, all that. But what if, what if we had a companion who was a Reaper? Immediately you're like, dude, Reapers are big, like ship big. I know, I know, but I want to go further than this. The Reapers were made by the intelligence, an AI that created the Reapers to solve the eternal conflict of organic versus synthetic. And at the end of Mass Effect 3, Shepard meets the intelligence and then those three endings happen, etc., etc. But what if the intelligence was not erased permanently? What if the intelligence in all those thousands, even millions of years, had a countermeasure in order to preserve itself? And what if the intelligence in this instance created a synthetic body similar to the technology and armor of a Reaper, but this body it created wasn't Reaper-sized, but human-sized instead? And the intelligence, now knowing its efforts were clearly wrong because while we as shepherds stopped it, sought to understand organics and synthetics, not by destroying them with giant cuttlefish robots from dark space, but instead by living amongst us in secret. So the idea here would be a reaper human shaped body, like Vision from the MCU kind of, but it's clearly incognito and looks human, like it has the flesh and everything, but its brain, its insides are the intelligence, the very thing that has been wiping out all organic life for millions of years. And it gets captured by slavers. You catch wind of it, save the intelligence reaper body person. And at first you're confused why slavers would want a normal woman, man, whatever. But then it's eventually revealed that this human isn't human at all, but the very thing that wiped out all life. And it wishes for you to not discard it, but it wants to journey with you so that it can understand organic life in a personal way by living the life of the things it's erased countless times. Just imagine the story possibilities with a companion like this. It would be an amazing companion, in my opinion. Tell me I'm crazy, I know my ideas are wild, but this could be cool, right? Well guys, that's just some of the ideas for the companions I would want in a eventual sequel to Mass Effect. What do you think of my ideas? Too weird? Do you like them? Let me know in the comments. And please subscribe to help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. The support you guys have been showing me is unreal. Thank you, really. Well, I'm in Demion. I might do a Final Fantasy VII Theory video all about the remakes ending soon, but if you have anything else you want me to talk about, let me know. Man, I really want the intelligence to be a companion. That would be so cool. And they could get it voiced by like Mark Mir or Jennifer Hale, who did Shepard before because their voices were used for the intelligence. So that could be you know, like a really unique way to bring them back. What if the intelligence looked like Shepard? And that's like a big twist moment. Where you're like, what? My Shepard's a companion? Why? And it's like, oh, the intelligence made its body to look like the one person that, you know, outsmarted. Okay, it would be a cool, I could, I could talk about this idea for like a whole video. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.